Welcome to this uh, short guide to the places you can visit in Orson. So we are here in the hub, and if you start a game for the first time here, you're going to end up in a hub like this. If you picked Orson as your main base. One of the cool features of the hub areas in Orison is to have the nice balconies. <clears throat> And you can observe the traffic, the shuttles, maybe some player ships taken off. And from here you can see the Crusader showroom. Okay, now we are in the Green Circle lobby. Green Circle being the, I guess, the primary hub uh, place or the hotel of the place. As for gameplay interactable uh, items, you can... Hi, thanks can... for coming in. You can buy some ice cream over here. This is mostly a coffee shop. You can buy food, uh, ice cream, chocolate bars, and some weird fruits. I'm going to leave out the <clears throat> areas of the platforms where there's not much interactable gameplay currently, like this park area over there. Gratis and Voyager. <clears throat> Okay, so this is a, it's a small shopping center and there are different shops you can go to. Also, this texture isn't loaded in yet, so once it's loaded in, it can tell you which type of shops you can find here. So let's just start. Yeah, let's start over here. Okay, this is the Macau. This is a clothing shop. And you can buy clothing specific, what do you call them? I wouldn't call it a tile set, specific clothing styles for Orison. Now, if you're new to a game, you can usually buy items in the shop. In most shops, it's, it's two different ways you can buy things. You can just look at them, the try on or buy. I'm not going to use try on right now because sometimes it bugs out. And sometimes, if you want to see the whole inventory of the shop, there's usually a kiosk you can access and you see all the items in the shop you can buy. Okay, so this is something on the ground floor, and on the opposite side we have Caltu, which is which is sort of a convenience store. You can get a, a, a mix of, of several basic items. You can have t-shirts, even buy some armor, food, drink, um, plush toys if you like. And guns, and you also have a kiosk. It's basically your, your typical American convenience store you would have. It even has the foam darts for the foam dart pistol. Okay, then let's go upstairs. Uh, in this first upstairs area, you have a secondary... Um, it's a fast food chain store. This is the Buemas. <clears throat> and the usual offerings are different types of meat, hamburgers, various drinks. And the shopkeeper is currently not interactable. He doesn't have like uh, serving capabilities like in other places. Not sure if this part is still functional, FTL courier. So again, that's a drop-off station or pickup station for packages. And I presume this guy is going to be interactable in the future for picking up things. Because in previous versions of the game, there were delivery missions. We would directly interact with a character like this and they would like pick the box up and put it under the table. But I guess that's currently out of uh, not functional. Okay, now we get the nice view over here. <clears throat> Anything else? Security. This is currently not functional. Not sure what it's going to be for. And I have no idea what that thing is going to be. Oh, nice view over here. Great for meeting your friends. And there's another place in this place, which is a bar, which is at the top of the shopping center. I'm playing this on a rather old GeForce 1060 card. If you have a better graphics card, your FPS probably is going to be much better than I have. Okay, you got the Voyager bar. Some outside areas you can go. Have a drink with your friends and... Inside area. Let's see if the barkeeper works in this place. In theory, he should be able to mix us a drink. Okay, this one is not ready. This guy.
can I order drinks from this guy? Oh, you can actually. So, let's order a drink. What can I do you for? I'll take a liquor. Let's take a rum and cola. Yep. And the cool thing is, they actually animated the way they're mixing the thing. So it's a really cool thing to see. next station we can go to is, I think there's a trade and development center. It's called the TDC, I think. And each landing zone has one of those. These are basically, um, uh, I guess, trading centers, I would call them. They have those consoles where you can buy and sell commodities. If you have a ship over here, you can select what you have and you can buy things. In this case, this place only has scrap and waste. <coughs> Check out the view from here. And presumably, those uh, this place will eventually show trading uh, commodity prices. I think. I think I saw something on the roadmap about that. So currently, it's just uh, just some default animation playing. Would be a really nice place if you're playing as a trader. Just. Landing a ship, having a drink, just watching the monitors, prices go up and down. I think if it's fully functional, this is going to be a really nice place to have. Okay, so here comes the next zone, which is the Orison Hospital. So the way hospitals work in this game is you can set your new spawn point in there. So if your character dies, he gets uh, replicated or cloned or whichever way you want to call it, and you respawn back in the hospital. Also, if you have a certain injury that you cannot fix by just using medical items, then you have to go to the hospital, rent a room, go into the hospital, and sit down into it. And let's see if we can try it in this game right now. So before I do patient check-in, oh wait, I can do it right now. <clears throat> for six room seven. <clears throat> okay, here's a pharmacy. You can buy some basic medical items like jacket, med guns, and medical items, and I think yeah, just basic medical equipment you can buy here. Then we have insurance. I think this is where you set your spawn point, as I just mentioned. You can set, for example, if this is your primary residency, your primary, basically it's a spawn point. And if you're not a hospital in some other place, you can click on that and then it gets set to the new one. But since I started with the character in Orison, that's my default point. So I have to do nothing here. Anything else for show? Yeah, we can check out the rooms, the elevator. Set floor six, room seven. Six. No. Here. And got have very really nice uh, glass windows for the view. I think this is the this is the park platform when I was where I was earlier. Yeah, those two platforms are together, basically. And that's the green tower. That's, uh, see, one of those balconies, I think, uh, your hab windows, one of them might be facing outside, and you can see those plants over there. Okay, it said room seven, so let's find room seven. 605, 608. Uh, 607, okay. Now, if you requested the correct room, then it will open for you like that. And what you can do in this room is basically, you can just lie down.
Then you have the medical screen and regeneration options over here. That's like setting your spawn point. And you can do better you can. And I have no injuries yet, so there's nothing to do in this place. What you can do, I think, is you can pump yourself with some medicine if you don't want to buy it. So you can just jack yourself up in this place and use that. So this was pretty much a hospital. Now we can explore the other platforms. So now we're leaving the platform we just explored. You can see the, the hotel over there. And now we're going to the Providence platform. The Providence platform is sort of the industrial area of the Horizon Landing Zone. So let's explore the um, different points of interest in this platform. And it's a bit more difficult to navigate this one because some of the areas are a bit hidden. Okay, so here is the Discovery Center, which is like a mini showroom of sorts. What you can do here is, I think, buy some food, some basic drinks, t-shirts, caps. Like the classic Hi. gift shop for, for, for the, that's basically the gift shop of the landing zone. Got a nice view here, seeing the ships getting repaired. Okay, now, slightly hidden off the normal path is the Providence Surplus. I think it's a really cool shop. As it says, um, quality gear and workwear. It is the place where you can basically dress up like a person working at the Orison platforms. So it's a mix of, of basic uh, mining equipment, engineering equipment, and origin-specific workwear. Unlike the, uh, the clothing shop on the other platform, this is mostly um, not considered high fashion. It's mostly like the everyday clothing uh, somebody would wear. I got here jumpsuits, helmets, boots, Hi, and regular armor that's themed with the Orison uh, paint job, which is usually some light blue or purple and some beige color. Passengers, the shuttle is preparing to depart. Okay, now this, uh, as I mentioned, this is more like an industrial area. You can see here it's not as much plastic, it's more like industrial. And what do we have here? Municipal services. Again, you got delivery boxes and trading and shipping, which is like a console for buying and selling different commodities and incidentally it's the same thing like the TDC has on the other platform I think they would be changing at some point as we explore this platform further I'm going to focus on the places that have interactable points of interest there are different pathways you can explore and different catwalks well that I leave that up for you to explore because it would make the video too long what's that Colex shipping okay now this is uh, like a cargo deck on space stations. Now you got here um, mining equipment, backpacks, basic industrial tools, basic sustenance like water, food, uh, delivery station for boxes, and trading and shipping console. I'm not sure if that's a trading console or if it's, uh, is it actually functioning? No, I think those are not functional right now. Well, this place is a bit of a maze to explore, which I think is not a bad thing. I like this in, if you have like space stations or science fiction environments where you can just get lost in the different corridors and all that. Let's see what else we can find in this place. Now, there's one more interesting place uh, in this platform, which is the Cousin Crows, which is a tuning shop for spaceships. And you can find it if you find the Coalex area. Look around, and you'll find a catwalk that is named Cousin Crows. And I actually like that it's slightly hidden away, so it feels a bit more custom. It doesn't feel like everything is, like not everything is a showroom in this place. There's also some functional industrial areas. Let me go down here, and there it is. So, 
if we are in Cousin Cross. I guess those are going to be some unlockable places once there's some hacking gameplay in the game. So what can you do in this place? Um, I think mostly you can buy different ship skins and different tuning parts, which presumably are not available in, in other stations. So let's check the place out. Okay, again, you got some basic water and food. And a really nice shopping interface. What can we buy here? Okay, those are different ship weapons. Uh, yeah, it appears to be just ship weapons, liveries for different ships, paint jobs. Yeah, those appear to be exclusively ship weapons. And there's another shops so you can also directly uh, buy them over here by just examining uh, as shop items. And I think this is... Oh, which ship is that actually? Is that a Kraken? I think that's a Kraken. That's not in the game yet. Okay, is there anything else we can explore in this place? As in interactable places. Okay, so here we are at the Colex again. Now let's find our way back. Okay, it says here spaceport. So this is the train that's going to, or the tram, or the <coughs> transport shuttle that's going to lead to the spaceport. So as we enter the platform Transport from the shuttle, the shuttle is preparing to depart. again you have the uh, sort of like a train station area, and there's not much interactive stuff in here except for uh, different shuttles you can take. Okay, so now as with all spaceports in a game, here's a customs area which is not functional yet. Presumably there's going to be a scanner that you have to step through. And as in interactive gameplay over here, you can pay off your fines if you accumulated them over here. And we're going to continue to the spaceport area. Yeah, a nice view again. Now, if you look at the right side on the spaceport, uh, those are the, what's it called? Uh, well, it's called Travelon. And here's a place where you can rent different ships. Those are prices per day over here. So you can rent a ship for a small amount of time if you just want to check it out. Okay, let me continue. Here's a small um, restaurant area you actually will find on a spaceport or airport in real life. Hi. Okay, you Welcome can buy your plush store. toys over here. I'm not going to buy them right now. Get some food and presumably some coffee maker, but I don't think the, the coffee uh, bartender is, is functional in this place yet. So now we go to the hangar area and it's uh, as the other spaceports are in the game. Okay, you got a fast food restaurant over here, like in the other platform. I'm not sure if that place has a purpose, I think not. And you got another Elroy's coffee shop, which is the similar, the, well, almost identical to the one that you get in the green circle. And the only thing left to do is you go to the hangars, you go to the consoles, you spawn your ship, and then you take off. So this will conclude this hopefully short guide on what you can see and do in Orison.